I'm hiking up the most popular mountain in the Scottish Highlands. It's winter time here in Scotland, so the conditions are going to be challenging and it's forecast freezing temperatures. Come along for the adventure. So the mountain I'm heading up today is Ben Lomond and between that and Ben Nevis, they are the two most popular mountains in Scotland. It's 974 metres tall, I believe. I've done it once before, but it was over a year ago and it was in the height of summer. It's now the winter time and I could see that the top was covered in snow on the drive up. So I'm excited to get up to the top and see what it's like in the winter time. Hopefully I get some views up there as well. Typical for the Scottish weather, as soon as I start the hike it starts raining. But I'm hoping as we start to gain elevation that rain is going to turn into snow. Snow is always a lot more fun and it makes everything look just a little bit nicer. Yeah, I'm really excited for this one. Well, there it is. That is Ben Lomond. The top is just in the clouds right now. But hopefully by the time we get there, the clouds have gone. As you would expect, the track is very good. This is one of, like I said, one of Scotland's most popular mountains. So you've got hundreds of people, I think hundreds of thousands of people do this every year. So it's a really well maintained path. But I forgot that it actually is quite steep. It's only six kilometers from the car park to the top and 900 meters of ascent. So you need to be a little bit careful especially in winter conditions. But I've got the ice axe, I've got the spikes with me, all the necessary things in case I get into danger. So we'll be all good. It's almost like a stairway up to the top of this track. It is really quite good and so easy to follow. But it's steep. <laughs> I'm roasting. I'm really enjoying this so far. It's so peaceful. We're just sheltered from the wind because I'm walking up through this forest. And I'd imagine once I get onto the higher tops, it'll be quite windy. It's forecast to be quite windy anyways. So yeah, I'm just enjoying this right now. The peace and quiet, the sound of nature all around me. It's really nice. Just a wee information board here telling you about the different ways up the mountain. There's the normal tourist path, which is that one there. And then you can come down or go up the Ptarmigan Ridge, which follows down there. I'd be hiking up the normal tourist path due to a poor weather forecast. And although the weather wasn't great, there were still amazing views to be had. Views are really starting to open up now. Over Loch Lomond. That's looking south. Absolutely beautiful. Just the scattered islands of Loch Lomond. It's a little bit windier up here, as expected, because it's nowhere near as sheltered. It's quite open. You sort of like go over like a flat plateau bit, and then there's a last 300 meter push to the summit, which won't be fun. But I'm enjoying the views right now. Can't imagine they're going to last for too long. I continue to climb. And with every metre gained on the mountain, the wind speed seemed to increase. And soon enough, I had some warning signs heading my way. Uh, it's pretty windy up here. And it's starting to snow lightly as well. I've actually just been by a group of three people. And they got to 100 metres from the summit and turned back. So I'm about 50 metres from the 600 metre plateau. So I think I'm going to get to that and then see what it's like. Apparently the clouds rolled in and it's brought some pretty bad weather. So I've already done it before. I'm just gonna get there, see what it's like. If it's too dangerous, I'll turn back. There's no point risking my life for a mountain I've already done. I can always come back on a nicer day. But yeah, not making any decisions yet. We'll see how it is first. I pushed on, battling against the strong winds and spindrift hitting my face, hoping for some respite or a break in the weather. It's properly snowing now. 
It's absolutely crazy how quickly the weather can change up here in the mountains. Literally just about 10 minutes ago, it was nice and, well, it was a little bit sunny, a little bit cloudy, but no wind and pretty easy going. Then you come up another 100 metres and it's absolutely mental. But I'm going to go on a little further and then I'll make my decision. As you can see, that's the summit just up there. Well, you probably can't see it anymore. It's shrouded in clouds completely. Not going to get any views up there. I can see a wee rock just up ahead. So I'm going to stop there and then get a drink and then make my decision. I've already done this mountain, so there's no point in heading up uh, if I'm not going to get any views or if it's going to be a risk to my life. It's just check my phone and it's saying it's 40 mile an hour wind gusts, which may not sound like a lot, but when you're on a, an exposed plateau, that is quite a lot. So yeah, just gonna get to this rock and then make a decision. Right, it is pretty windy, what <laughs> heck. You can probably see the clouds just sort of coming and going, but I don't think I'm gonna risk it. There's no point in heading up for no views, and it's really cloudy all around. And the forecast is to actually get worse in the afternoon. So I think I'm just gonna enjoy the view as I can see over Loch Lomond and then probably head down in about 10 minutes. Right, let's go. It is windy up here and I am cold. can't help but feel a little bit annoyed when you have to turn back but there's just no point for me like it's even more dangerous up there I can see the spin drift coming off the top of the mountain and I've been up Ben Lomond before and I'll go up it in the future and even if I did get to the top it's in the clouds anyway whereas right now I've got some nice views down Loch Lomond so I'm just gonna have a, a leisurely stroll back down the mountain and I'll be back to do it again at some point in the future. I started to make my way down off the mountain, enjoying the incredible views out over Loch Lomond. Some really nice views off out to the east. I'm not too sure what these mountains would be, but they are very snow covered. They look pretty good. Well, I've made it back down to a safe height now. I think I'm down at about 300 metres, so I've not got too far to go. I'm pretty sure I made the right decision there. In fact, I definitely made the right decision. The top is well and truly in the clouds now, and it's forecast to stay in the clouds for the rest of today and tomorrow with high winds and pretty heavy snow this afternoon. So yeah, it's a shame I didn't get to the top, but still been a really enjoyable walk and I've got some great views. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, feel free to subscribe. It costs nothing and it really helps the channel out. And I'll see you guys next week for another adventure. Let's go.